from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, the pattern looking to stay unsettled uh, here across Acadiana over the next several days. So let's take a look at the upper level pattern, kind of set the stage of what's going on now. I have a ridge of high pressure that's uh, really starting to make its way and slide off uh, to the west here and uh, in between got a little uh, disturbance aloft that's creating atmospheric lift and helping to enhance rain chances across much of the Gulf Coast and that's going to continue to be sliding westward here over the next couple of days so it looks to really only enhance our rain chances here uh, in Acadiana but you can kind of see the swirl just off the Gulf Coast here uh, associated with this feature and as per usual uh, in this type of pattern the showers kind of disappear through the overnight hours and then storms try to fire back up first thing tomorrow morning so we'll see if that's the case going into tomorrow morning wouldn't be surprised if we see a few storms out there of course this morning we had a couple uh, for some of you uh, as well, but power Doppler three quiet late this evening, so no major issues out there tonight. Temperatures pretty much holding in the mid to upper 70s, so that's where we'll start the day tomorrow. Again, wouldn't be surprised if we have a few storms on the radar, especially for areas along and south of the I-10 corridor. And then as that disturbance traverses the area and taps into uh, a good amount of low level moisture in place at the surface, that should help to uh, generate a pretty healthy scattering of showers and storms. Best rain chances we will say mid morning uh, through the afternoon time frame and again, any one particular storm will have the capability to put down some heavy rainfall, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, then any activity that does develop will look to come to an end tomorrow evening or quiet tomorrow night. Maybe some rain cooled upper 60s to lower 70s uh, for those overnight lows. And then heading into Thursday, that feature just kind of swirling around the area. You can kind of see uh, the counterclockwise rotation uh, maybe uh, just offshore is where the main feature will be. But uh, nonetheless, we got to keep the pattern unsettled with off and on scattered showers and storms, not only for Thursday, but heading into Friday as well. Hopefully the heaviest of the rainfall will look to set up more so offshore uh, compared to inland areas, but still a decent soaking still looks to be in store across a good portion of Acadiana one, maybe upwards to three inches of rainfall possible. Not everyone necessarily uh, seeing those amounts, but with that in mind and perhaps some of those amounts falling in a short period of time, uh, there is the possibility or the risk of a sec, uh, excessive rainfall as we head into tomorrow. All of Acadiana highlighted in that uh, level one, so the lowest risk, but uh, still there could be some ponding on the roadways, maybe some isolated flooding in low lying areas. So uh, we'll be keeping you updated on that, but hopefully that doesn't come to be. Meanwhile, as we open it up into the tropics, again, we can see our feature here swirling along the Gulf Coast, but rest of the Gulf of Mexico, quiet Caribbean Sea looks good and really all of the tropical Atlantic, nothing uh, really going on one or two tropical waves, but uh, that is about it. We're not expecting any new developments at least through the next five days, so certainly that is some good news there. 75, the projected low tonight. Again, showers have already pretty much come to an end, so fair skies out there. We'll go 75 for the projected projected low uh, with more clouds and uh, showers and storms lurking around the area tomorrow. Hopefully that'll hold our temperatures in the 80s. We hit 89 here in Lafayette, but really most of the afternoon uh, was in the 70s and 80s. And again, a pretty good chance of scattered showers and storms out there. Uh, we'll hold your rain chances at around 70. You could argue 80%. Here we go next several days. Again, we'll maintain about a 50 to 60% chance of storms through about Friday and then heading into the weekend and much of next Next week, very typical early uh, to mid August weather here with uh, hot and humid conditions and scattered downpours pretty much remaining in the mix uh, just about each and every day, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, T tropics quiet though. So tropics that's all we like. quiet for now, of course. Peak of the season later this mm. month and into you September. Think about you, that. I want to think about it. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Bright side, it's quiet. For now. It is quiet for now. <laughs> Thank right. you, Bradley. Yeah.